Hello and welcome to the third video in our MaxSurf Webinar 2 series on modeling techniques. This video is about fairing, how to create high quality fair surfaces to form our hull shape. There are a range of tools in MaxSurf to deal with fairing. The first is a simple one, it's called the Compress Tool and it allows us to exaggerate the transverse dimension of the design in the plan and profile views. Because the transverse curvature is usually higher than the longitudinal curvature, it's useful to be able to exaggerate the longitudinal curvature to see it more clearly. So here that you can see we can identify that there's some unfairness in the water lines, which is not very apparent when the compress is off, but is very apparent when compress is turned on. If I unlock this design, we can see that we can actually continue to modify the design while the compress command is turned on. If I zoom in for a closer look at the forebody here, uh, a second tool that we can use for evaluating fairness is to select any contour on the design and to show a graph of curvature along that contour. We call these curvature porcupines. The height of each straight line perpendicular to the curve is proportional to the curvature at that point along the curve. Again, we can display these while we're modifying the surface so you can see how the curvature changes as we move the control points. This graph of curvature is a very sensitive measure of the curvature of the design, so it's a very precise fairing tool. As we move those control points around, if we change the surface such that the uh, curvature porcupine crosses over the curve, that indicates that we've created a hollow and it's a useful thing that we want to avoid, so uh, being able to see that clearly is good, especially when we're looking at water lines. I'll move that back, and then finally, we can see in the very forward part of this model that we've got a bit of a spike in the curvature near the bow, and so I can nudge that around if I select a control point. I can move control points a few millimeters at a time by nudging with the arrow keys. Notice also that on the point on the curve where curvature is the highest, the radius of curvature is shown. And that's very useful for checking curvature on a bilge radius or a bow cone. Finally, also notice that there's a couple of discontinuities in the curvature curve here. And if I select that surface to see the surface properties, we can see that our longitudinal stiffness is only set to 4. If I increase that up to 5, you'll see that that curvature curve flattens out a lot and the design is even fairer when we're using higher stiffnesses. Now let's move over to the perspective window and take a look at some tools that we can use for uh, continuing to look at curvature. Here I've got my smooth shading mode turned on and you can see I've got some uh, lighting highlights turned on so that as I rotate my model around we can see those lights move across the surface. So that's one way to get a rough idea of the fairness. It can be useful to show to other non-technical people as well. A second type of uh, rendering that I can use to visualize curvature is called uh, Gaussian curvature rendering. And this is a rendering of the product of the maximum and minimum curvatures at each point on the model. If I turn on Gaussian curvature, we see that parts of the surface are in positive curvature. That means the longitudinal and transverse curvature go in the same direction. And in other areas of the surface, we have twist, where uh, the positive curvature longitudinally uh, goes outwards and the transverse curvature goes in the opposite direction. So Gaussian curvature is useful for evaluating our curvature. The green areas of the design are areas which are completely developable. That means they're either flat or cylindrical and can be unrolled without stretching. Again, you'll notice that this design is not particularly fair and particularly in the aft end here, we can see some unfairness and you can see the longitudinal curvature uh, stiffness was only three there and I can increase that up to five to ferret out of it. So Gaussian curvature is a very uh, precise measure of curvature useful both for checking for construction uh, capability in terms of developability and also useful for checking for hollow and twist in the model. Finally and most importantly the network of control points is your best measure of how fair your model is. If you have a fair network of control points you're guaranteed to have a very fair surface.
So you should take the time to inspect your network of control points and make sure that you have reasonably uh, even variation and spacing of columns. Uh, you can see I've actually got a small gap between two columns here and then a large gap between the next two columns. That's really not ideal in terms of creating a fair design. I'd probably in this case prefer to have another column in between. And in general, the fewer control points you use, the better. Uh, less numbers of control points are always going to give you a fairer surface. That concludes our video on surface fairing. Thanks for watching.